Oh, the condor's not on top of the tower anymore. Oh, poor condor. Hey, everybody, last time we killed the condor. No, 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 that's not what happened. We helped the new condor be born. It's like a phoenix, right? When one burns up, another one rises from the ashes. That's how it works. Anywho, this time, after we've gotten two of the huge materials, we decided we should go visit Cloud in Medeal. So, well, actually more like checking on Tifa, but still, let's do it. We can't exactly go do the next huge materia mission right now anyway, so let's at least visit our friends. They should be doing all right, right? I certainly hope so. Wait, before we do anything, one thing I forgot to do in the last one when I was here was go in this house because there's an elixir. And I feel like there's something else in here or maybe it's in the, is it in this building? Maybe it's not here. Or maybe that's all there is, just one. Did you just take something? Uh, yeah. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Mine now, bitch. What an oddball, we'll let him use it. That's what I thought, son. Thanks, it'll help, paps. All right then, well, that works. I didn't remember that little convo. I did remember taking his elixir, though. All right, so, let's see how Tifa's doing. God, this music sucks. She's finally beginning to look a little tired. I hope she's all right. No change in his condition, yet he stays right by his, she stays right by his side. It must be tough on her. If she keeps this up, she's gonna get sick. I hope not. Well, anyhow, hey, you all look terrible. Why don't you get some rest? Sure. It's not like I have a choice. She just automatically fucking said it, and we did it, so we're resting. Yeehaw. Will do, BZ, will do. Okay, perfect. Well, then, take care. How about you, doctor? What you got to say? I'm sorry, but your friend's condition ha remains unchanged. You'll have to be patient and wait this out. These things take time. Just like fine wine, time is of the essence. Why the fuck are you bringing up wine at a time like this? I'll show you what it is about whining. God, I hate that sound effect that you can hear in the background, too. I also, like, enjoy the fact that I'm standing inside of Tifa, what I've always dreamed of. It's no use. I don't understand a thing, Cloud. What should I do? What if you never recover for the rest of your life? I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa! What did you do, Tifa? I, like... <laughs> we clipped right through her face. Coming. They're coming. What did you just say, Cloud? Uh, damn, what the hell's going on around here? We'll find out, won't we? I like how, I like his stance. Even though we can move freely, his stance is amazing. This is bad. This one's big. What's big? Ah, I hate earthquakes. Let's just do it. Let's see what the hell's going on outside. Earthquake or what? Volcano eruption, maybe? What the fuck is this shit? The live stream is gushing up from below the surface of the earth. Damn, that's, this is bad. Sid, what's wrong? N nothing you and Cloud get inside, quick. But I, hey, don't you worry about a thing. I ain't about to die that easily. You damn right, baby. Be careful. She don't give a shit about us. Okay, here I go, watch this shit. So he said, here comes, oh, that's what he was talking about. It's a fucking weapon. Damn. That's fucking weapon! <laughs> of all the times to show up! You're damn right. We got the man squad, so let's do this. Okay, come on, you fuck! Wow, what curse word would that be? You asshole? You shitcake? You fuckwad? You cunt? You dick? What word would that be? I don't even know. It could be anything. That's a beautiful curse word. Anyway, so... We gotta fight one of the weapons right now. What? So this is ultimate weapon. He's, uh, certainly fun. I probably should have gave myself some earth protection to make this battle basically unlosable. But now I've given myself a way to lose, so that's good, right? Oh, wait, we can use limb breaks. Cool. Let's use limb breaks, then. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mention this now. You can't actually, you cannot actually win this battle. All you can do is hope to survive. It's really not that hard to survive, so don't worry about that. They didn't make this like the end-all, beat-all battle where you have to kill ultimate weapon. That's battles for a later date. But for now, ultimate weapon, you must die. Sort of. You must fall before me. Um, should I summon? Eh. Eh. Let's use Comet. Clean it up with Comet. Earth is my planet. Dynamite! I think I'm going to use Sid a lot more 
as soon as we have our party back full intact. But for now, you know, we're trying to use Sid as much as we can. It probably would have been smart of me to actually grind some limit breaks while Cloud wasn't in the party. Because when Cloud's not in the party, obviously you can grind limit breaks without him and it's easier to fucking do it when Cloud's not there because three people who aren't Cloud can be in the party at once. But anywho, that happened. Ultimate Weapon ran away a little, a little bitch. Told you we weren't going to beat him right now and we don't get shit for our efforts either. That's the disappointing part. Not a damn thing for winning. So sad. I actually think you could steal something from them and I failed to do so. But whatever. You fuckface! You try to escape from me, bitch! How dare you run! Such weird sound effects. Hmm. Looks like escape is its best skill. Looks like the live stream settled down too. Not quite, bro. Damn, you gotta be kidding me! This is bad! The mainstream is kicking up! Something's way bigger than the last one is on its way. No good. Get the fuck out of here. God damn it. Don't have time to worry about anyone other than yourself. Don't know when that stream will blow. Whoa. There's no time. Hurry. Shit. So we're just going to leave Cloud and Tifa behind? Tifa, Cloud, get out of here. I'm just going to yell at him and hope that they heard you. Oh, God. The tremors are getting worse. Wait a minute, Cloud. Doctor, shouldn't we move him somewhere? Hmm, it might be safer to move to an open area. Duh! Yeah, totally. Don't worry, don't you worry about a thing, Cloud. I'll see to it that you get safe more safe. No, that structure can't take it. Hurry! Yes! Let's get the fuck out of here, Tifa. Move quicker. Ready, Cloud? We're leaving now. Don't ask him questions, just do it. Run, Tifa, run! You can do it. You're gonna make it. You're gonna make it. You're ahead of the curve. You're ahead of the... Oh, fuck. Not anymore. Shit. Well, you thought we were sad about losing Eris and then kind of Cloud. Well, now I'm even more sad because we just lost Tifa along with Potato Cloud. Great. Fucking great. Drowned in death into the live stream. It does make one wonder, can one actually drown in the live stream? I can't imagine why not. It is water, is it not? Or like a water, it's a liquid substance. Tifa spiraling into madness down here. Oh, God. This game so just gets so crazy, man. It just gets so crazy. The story is almost too hard to follow sometimes. And this is... I'll, I'll be honest with you right now. This is where the story starts to get super mindfucky. Where am I? What's happening? I, I, I'm gonna have a hard time doing a whole episode where we just read, but that's what this episode's gonna be. Where's Cloud? Cloud, where are you? Oh, you don't even want to know, huh? What? Who? Who is it? I, I can't hear. You're not even moving your feet. You're just spinning around in circles. That's amazing. <gasps> Wait a minute. I don't know anything about that. What are you? Who's? What? Are you hearing voices? No, it's not me. I'd never do anything like that. What are you talking? Who? What the fuck are you even talking about? I am confused. She's literally yelling at her own mind. No, stop it. Stay back. Somebody help, please. What are you even... What? What, what even? She's going nuts. Cloud, help me! I'm spiraling into madness! Ah! I'm getting dizzy! Ah! <laughs> Jesus. And that's only the beginning of it. Where the hell are we now? Seriously, where the hell are we now? Where am I? What the fuck? Cloud? What is it, Cloud? What is this? It's a giant cloud. Is this inside of your dreams, or is it your subconscious? You're searching, aren't you, Cloud? Searching for yourself. I can help too. We'll work together to try and get you get the real you back. But where do we start? So Tifa actually did know a kid named Cloud, and we're about to learn all about him. So here we go. That starry night at the well, the promise we made then. What if that memory was all a lie? 
Oh, is this not the one we're supposed to talk to first? We have to talk to these clouds in a specific order, but I'm not sure what that order is. Maybe it's this one first? The gates of Nibelheim five years ago. Sephiroth passed through these gates, and that's how it all started. Yep, gotta start where it starts. It connects to Nibelheim? That's right, it's probably best to start from there. Good idea. Seeing as how that's where it all started, let's do this. Let's go have a look, Cloud. I know it's not easy. I'll be here for you. Get ready to learn a whole shitload of stuff about Cloud's backstory, along with Tifa's truth that she already knew. But she kind of faked the truth a little bit, and you'll see what I mean by that momentarily. Cloud, look! Here's the well. No shit. And that's Gramps Inn. The only truck in town. It's been here since we were little kids, right? Sure. If you say so. This is the Nibelheim you remember, right? Right? It's the same as my Nibelheim. That's why this is our Nibelheim. But Cloud's not real, is he? Or is he? Cloud, you good there, bro? You good there? Five years ago, two men from Soldier came. Sephiroth and a young, vibrant soldier. Can you tell me again what happened? Okay, so we got Sephiroth. Okay, repainting the picture. That part was true. It was definitely Sephiroth. How does it feel? Five years ago, I saw the real Sephiroth for the very first time. I'm not going to read Sephiroth's line. We've already done this part before. How about your parents? What? My mother... Wait, my mother... My mother. So this is the great Sephiroth? But to tell the truth, I thought it was, he was very cold. Not when he was a real boy. He was a normal man at one point. I remember a foreboding, a foreboding about him. Just a little bit. So here's the two soldiers in Cloud, see? Nothing weird about that. Wait, what? Cloud's gonna fucking assimilate with himself? No, Cloud. I've been hiding it for some time. Afraid that if I told you, something terrible might happen. Here's the truth, but I'm not going to hide anything anymore. You weren't here. Cloud did not come to Nibelheim five years ago. What? I waited, but Cloud never came. Weak. Is that what you're trying to tell me? The two of that were ordered here were Sephiroth and another person. No. Don't play that game with me. Who's this other person you speak of? <gasps> Spiky black hair cloud. That is the truth of what happened. You mean that member of Soldier who came with Sephiroth wasn't Cloud? Oh, I should have said that was Cloud's voice. There's nothing I can say. You must find the answer yourself. If you can't, then... Take your time, Cloud. Slowly, little by little, okay? Alright, so now Cloud's gonna get all emo and sit on the ground. And... We gotta go talk to one of these other emo clouds, which I'm pretty sure is this one. If you talk to him and he stands up, you're probably talking to the right one. That starry night at the well and our promises. What if the memory was all just a lie? But this part... Don't hurry, Cloud. Don't answer too quickly. Just keep checking all those small emotions and it'll come back slowly, little by little. Right, like the sky that night. The heavens were filled with stars. So we're going to go back to the memory where they were sitting at the well and Cloud made his promise. Was it actually true? Was Cloud the little boy that she once knew? From the beginning, okay? Try and remember, Cloud. See? Cloud was real. I was wearing these clothes. That's you, too. You were so small then. Weird. He's sitting. She's sitting next to her little self. And cute. Sephiroth once said, Cloud made up his memories by listening to my stories. Did you imagine this guy? No, you remembered it. That night the stars were gorgeous. It was just Cloud and I. We talked at the well. That's why I kept thinking you were the real Cloud. Because Cloud's a real boy. I still believe you're the Cloud from Nibelheim. But you don't believe in yourself. Indeed. These memories aren't enough. We need more. We need more proof. We need more proof. 
Cloud, what about the other memories? No, not memories. A memory is something that is conscious consciously recalled, right? That's why sometimes it can be sni mistaken or wrong. It's different from a memory locked deep within your heart. That's why it must be a fake if he could recall up that memory. That's it. What about some memory that has to do with me? If I say something, you can't remember it. But if you say something and I remember it too, then we'll know that's a memory. Talk to me about anything, some important memory to you. Now that you mention it, why did you want to join Soldier in the first place? I always thought it was a sudden decision. I was devastated. I wanted to be noticed. I thought if I got stronger, someone would notice. You wanted those boobs to notice you. I get it. Someone to notice you? Who? Who? You know who. You, that's who, you fucking dumbass. I mean, you. <laughs> Me? Why? Because you're hot, bitch. Tifa, did you forget about those days? Are you fucking crazy? What kind of question is this? Look, I... Oh, I'm sorry, but what are you talking about? What the fuck do you think I'm talking about? I'm talking about that ass. Always wanted that ass. No, it's alright. You were having a hard time back then. You were so busy with your own things, it's only natural you don't remember me then. What? I guess we're getting the real cloud memories now. Then? It's important to me. I hate to say it, but it's a very important memory. Do you want to see it? Do you want to see... Of course she does. Let's see it. Come on, hurry. Do we gotta talk to this cloud? I believe so. A sealed up secret wish. Tender memories no one can ever know. It's time to learn these tender memories that no one can ever know. Cloud's about to get real vulnerable. Let's do this. God, this part just drags the fuck on, doesn't it? It really does. Yo, little Cloud, what up, dog? Do you know where this window goes to, Tifa? Fine, I'll go. It goes straight into your bedroom, baby. Aw, yeah. I'm pretty sure it actually does, and I'm not even joking. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It is her bedroom. What are you doing, you peeping Tam? My room? Of course so. It was my first time there. The first time in her room. You know what I'm saying. Aw, yeah. I only used to look up at it from outside. Hey, look. Cloud's coming. Yeah. You think he wants to come in? She didn't even know who fuck Cloud is at this point. Was that the first day you came into my room? And it wouldn't be the last, baby. Aw, yeah. We live next to each other, but I didn't really know you that well. I've known you since we were children and always thought we were close. Not really. Now that you mention it, I don't recall you ever being in my room. Tifa always used to have her own group. That's right. I thought they were all stupid. What? You were all childish, laughing at every stupid little thing. Oh, and you're so mature, Cloud. Just so mature. But we were children then. I know, I was the stupid one. Exactly. I really wanted to play with everyone, but you never let me join the group. Well, then you're a bitch, Tifa. It's probably all the other guys' fault, though, not hers. Then later, I started thinking I was different. That I was different from those immature kids. That then maybe... Then maybe... Now, this is really where it gets all trippy. Like, look, now we got Dark Cloud talking to us. You would invite me in, or they would invite me in. I thought that might happen, so I hung around. I was so prejudiced and weak... That night, I asked Tifa to come out to the well. I thought to myself, Tifa would never come. That, she hated me. It was so sudden, I was a bit surprised. But, it's true that we weren't that close, but after you left town, I really thought a lot about you. you damn right you did, BZ. I used to wonder how Cloud was doing. I wondered if you were able to get into Soldier. I started reading the newspapers thinking I might see an article about you. Thanks, Tifa. Tell him what you told me later. He'll probably be so happy. So happy! Okay. Huh? What? What happened on this day? Was it a special day? This was the day. What day? Don't shake your head at me, Dark Cloud. Tifa's mother. Oh. So here comes the sad stuff. The day Mom died? 
I want to see mom. Wah, wah. Those douchebag kids aren't going to help you. They're just going to be douchebag kids. I wonder if there's anything beyond that mountain. Why don't you go and find out, Beezy? Mount Nimble is scary. Many people have died there. No one crosses that mountain alive. How about those that died? Did Mama pass through the mountains? What? What does that even mean? Like, pass the mountains is heaven or something? Is that what she's trying to imply? I'm going! Oh boy. And the boys are like, it's a girl, dude. We have to go with her. We can't let the girl go ahead of us. Then we're the chickens, right? You're just a little chicken shits if you let the girl go by herself. Yeah, don't be a chicken shit. Don't be a chick. Aw, oh, chicken shit. Chicken shit! Chicken shit! Oh, there's Cloud. See, Cloud ain't chicken shit. He may be shy, but he's not chicken shit. Don't worry. He'll be there to help out if the need is arises. He's Cloud, motherfucker. Don't you ever forget. And... Oh, my God. What, bitches? They got to the bridge and ran back. Little fags. What a bunch of fags. Cloud ain't scared. He ain't scared. Mm -mm. Wait, what? What happened? What's happening? I don't remember the path I walked. Tifa missed her step. I ran to her but didn't make it in time. We both fell off the cliff. Back then I only scarred my knees, but... But? But what? Cloud, why'd you bring Tifa to a place like this? Uh, uh, what? What the hell's the matter with you? What if she dies? What? Because it was Cloud's fault. Tifa was in a coma for seven days. We all thought she wouldn't make it. If only I could have saved her. I was so angry at myself for my weakness. Ever since then, I felt Tifa blamed me. I went out of control. I get into fights with anyone. That was the first time I heard about Sephiroth. I thought if I were strong like Sephiroth, then... Then you wouldn't get your ass handed to you all the time? Pretty much. If I could just get stronger, then even Tifa would have to notice me. So that was it? Sorry, Cloud. If only I had remembered more clearly what happened, I could have done something sooner. It's not your fault, Tifa. But I remember when we were eight. That's it, I now I know. You weren't created five years ago. My childhood memories weren't all made up. Cloud existed, yay! Hang in there, Cloud, just a little longer. You've almost found the real you. You're almost a real boy! Yay. Let's go back to Nibbleheim again. One more time. Let's do it. One more time to Nibbleheim. Here we go again. Here we go again. We're gonna get the truth out of this bitch if we have to do it again. The truth is right there. We almost have the answer right in the palm of our hands. Let's figure this shit out. What do you say? So let's do the math here. Alright, so. Who's who around here in this bitch, huh? Are we gonna watch the... Oh, we're gonna see a couple other scenes, I guess. So... Where are we going to start? Cloud, wait. Where are you going? The reactor? To the reactor. The Mako reactor of five years ago. Cloud knows. Just follow him. It is his memories. Is it not? So, oh, this part. Shink! Oh, Tifa, not the titties. Man, I wouldn't mind seeing that scar if you know what I'm saying. Uh, I'd love to hear that story someday. <gasps> That's not Cloud. Hey, it's Cloud. No, it's not. That's not Cloud, you dumbass. Haven't we learned that's not the real Cloud? It's just some... Z Zack. Zack. You remembered. His name is Zack, duh. He just ignored Tifa's dead ass. Wow, that's fucked up, Zack. That's right, it was Zack who came to Nibbleheim with Sephiroth. So Zack was the other soldier. Then, where were you, Cloud? Holy shit. Zack got his ass handed to him. Cloud, did you see it all? Damn, Zack got his ass handed to him. What a useless bastard. I saw everything. Cloud showed up, see? He didn't not show up. He showed up and he did it. He did it, guys. 
Here we all thought it was Cloud as a soldier who did it, but it was Cloud. He was dressed as a fucking Shinra soldier. Bam, sucker! Ha ha! He was the one that stabbed Sephiroth. It was Cloud the whole time. Well, granted, in the flashback sequence we watched at the beginning of the game, we watched Cloud actually just stand off of Sephiroth and that was it. But this time, we actually watched him stab that motherfucker. I always love this scene where we just get to see that this was Cloud who fucking was the one that stabbed Sephiroth. Amazing. But this is the real Cloud. This is not the crazy Cloud we know now. This is the original, regular Cloud before he was crazy. So as you could see, he was actually part of these memories we had earlier. He was just a, a different person in the memory than we were originally seeing the perspective of. He wasn't the soldier. He, like, the actual purple dressed up soldier. He was the soldier in the blue outfit. Hey, Cloud, if you're feeling... Ah, oh, damn it, I missed it. Anyway, Zack and Cloud knew each other. Big surprise, right? Yeah, this is me. I never made it as a member soldier. That's B Cloud. I even left my hometown telling everyone I was going to join in, but... I was so embarrassed I didn't want to see anybody. So he put his mask on and he never showed his face. As soon as he saw Tifa, he's like, Nope, gonna wear the mask. And Zack's like, Come on, man. Come on, man. Don't you want to see anybody? How does it feel, baby? And see, he wasn't talking to Zack. He was talking to Cloud. Back in your hometown. Get it? Zack isn't from Nibelheim. He's from Gungaga. We already learned that. I'm... I'm... See? And in this little sequence, the soldier on the ground right there was actually Cloud. Kind of amazing, right? We're s the pieces are being put together. You came. You kept your promise. Fuck yeah, he did. So you really did come when I was in trouble. Sorry I didn't get there sooner. It's alright, Cloud. Damn right it's alright. Yeah, fuck off, Sephiroth. And we didn't actually see... Cloud didn't actually kill him when he stabbed him. Just like you. Still got the head of Genova right there. And he still has his Masamune in hand. He's got a mortal wound. But he's not actually dead yet. Dude, put your mom's head down. Seriously, what is wrong with you, sir? What is wrong with you? Cloud, kill... Sephiroth. So Zack's the one that's like, hey, dude, do yo thing, bro. And no, that's not where Zack dies, by the way. He's not dead in this scene. Sephiroth! You fucker. Watch this epic ass shit. This is like fucking epic as hell. Oh, shit. Cloud, no! Don't push it. Holy fuck, one handed? Sephiroth's crazy. Watch this shit. Oh, yeah? You think you're the shit, Sephiroth? Watch this fucking shit, bitch. It can't be. Fuck yeah, ho. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I love that shit. He just threw his ass. He grabs the sword, stands up, and throws himself. Oh, that. I love that shit. That is amazing. And lives to tell the tale, sort of. Cloud's actually mortally wounded in that stab. But I'll explain a little bit more about that later. Cloud? Then this is goodbye, Tifa. Until we meet again. It looks like we're about to get the real Cloud back. Finally. Maybe. So yeah, we gotta watch this little scene where Cloud becomes Cloud again. It takes a minute and we can't skip any of it. We have to watch it in real time. It takes forever. The trippiness is about to end, finally. And now we know the truth about Cloud and Tifa. They really were friends when they... Well, s sort of. They were acquaintances when they were little. They actually know each other. Cloud is from Nibelheim, and Tifa knows him. Uh, Cloud never was a soldier, though. Keep that in mind. He was a... I mean, he was never a soldier. He was a soldier, a, Shin a Shinra soldier. But he was never a soldier. That was Zack, who we were seeing in all the flashback scenes. Um, but yeah. Why is Cloud dressed like Soldier? Well, there's a reason for that as well. I, exp I can explain that in a little, like, in a later, at a later date. Anyway, Cloud, you alright there, bruh? Uh, uh, uh. Is it, is it really the real Cloud, finally? The real Cloud? Is he back? 
Is it him? Ugh, Tifa. Oh, Cloud, it really is you, isn't it? Yeah, Tifa. We finally meet again. You stupid jerk. You had us all worried sick. Ugh. Cloud, are you alright? The voice, there. I see, we're in the live stream, aren't we? Everyone's waiting. Let's go back, Cloud. Back to everyone. Yeah, I guess so. Come on, Tifa. Let's go home. He's got voices in his head. They talk to him. He understands. They talk to him. <laughs> Why am I singing Randy Orton's song? I'll never know. I should have sang that way earlier if I was going to sing that at all. Anywho, Cloud's back to normal. Super sweet. And Tifa lives. She doesn't die. Yay. Yo. You all right, Tifa? Eyes closed, but she's good. She's good. Boobs intact. We're good. We're good. Barrett, you came back. I, Cloud, where is he? Turn around, bitch. Don't you worry about him. He's a tough one. Barrett, I, when I was in the live stream, I saw the real Cloud. I mean, I didn't really find him. Cloud found, he found himself. All right, I know. I shouldn't have doubted. But I can't win against you. You're some kind of lady. Aw, oh, yeah, she is. Aw, oh, yeah. People have so many things pent up inside themselves. So many things they can never forget. Strange, isn't it? Strange indeed. Yo, Tifa, snap out of that shit. Tifa, don't you die on me. She's not going to die. She just needs some rest. Anyway, back on the airship. Cloud's first time on there. Everyone, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Cloud. All you've been doing is apologizing. I don't really have a voice for Red 13. I've just been fucking saying whatever's on my mind. I never was in Soldier. I made up the story about what happened five years ago and my being in Soldier. I left my village looking for glory, but never made it into Soldier. I was so ashamed of being so weak, then I heard the story from my friend Zack, and I created an illusion of myself made up of what I had seen in my life and I continued to play the charade as if it were true. Illusion, huh? Pretty damn strong for the illusion. Stronger than a motherfucker. Physically, I'm built like someone in Soldier. Hojo's plan to clone Sephiroth wasn't that difficult. It was just the same procedure they use when creating members of Soldier. See? We're getting an explanation as to why he is the clouds all fucked up the way he is. You see, someone in Soldier isn't simply exposed to Mako energy. Their bodies are actually injected with Genova cells. For better or worse, only the strong can enter Soldier. It has nothing to do with the Genova reunion. But weak people like me get lost in the whole thing. The combination of Genova cells, Sephiroth's strong will, and my own weaknesses were what, are what created me. Everyone knew that. I'm Cloud. The master of my own illusionary world. But I can't remain trapped in an illusion anymore. I'm going to live my life without pretending. You're sure messed up, Cloud. <laughs> that means he ain't no different from a foe. You're damn right, he's still the same old fucked up Cloud. Um, by the way, Cloud, uh, what are you going to do now? Don't tell me you're going to leave the ship. I'm the reason why Meteor is falling towards us. That's why I have to do everything in my power to fight this thing. Good! Then you gonna keep fighting to save that planet, right, bitch? It's like you always told me, Barrett. Uh, y you mean that? Uh, what? I, I don't understand. They know getting off of this train, motherfuckers! Oh yeah! <laughs> I love that line. Anyways. Hell yeah, bitches! We got the high wind music going and everything. Finally, we're gonna get to hear the high wind music. We haven't got to hear it yet. Oh, Cloud. This motherfucker's crying over here. Cloud, I was deeply moved by your story. I'm a really weak person, and so I can really understand how you feel, Cloud. No one knows when fighting will begin, so let's get ready. Indeed, let's get ready. Let's just put Vincent and Sid in my party for now. We'll worry about switching shit up in a minute. I'm not going to worry about equipment and stuff, because the end of the episode is upon us. Let's just finish the last little cutscenes that are going on here before we end this shit. Uh, listen, Cloud, we're, we're right in the middle of the, mission, the huge materia, right? Okay. I know this is kind of out of blue, but Junon has an underwater reactor. As far as I can see, that's the only one left. That's that. Let's go. All right. So, underwater reactor in Junon was mentioned to me in the Fort Condor battle last time, and now we know. 
I always forget who has that and what materia. Yeah, I know, right? So anywho, back to the job at hand. Back to getting the master of huge materias. Time to go to the underwater reactor in Junon. Which literally means we just gotta go to Junon and do some work. So yeah, that's gonna conclude this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Cloud's back in the party. Freaking sweet! And now it's time to finish off this game. I know it's going to be a few more episodes before we're done here. Don't get me wrong. But we are well on our way to finishing the main storyline of this game. Anyway, next huge materia on the list, Junon. So I will see you guys next time where we will do exactly that. Peace.